Hi everybody, this is the UK Martial Arts Show, the second day here at the uh, Dome in Doncaster. Yes, anyway, uh, well, we got Sandy Holt, you know, with his funky hairstyle teaching behind uh, the camera. Here with me is Mike Ilderton. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely, lovely, nice lovely to see, see you again. You again. Yeah. I love Mike because he's got, um, you know, a, co a, co a continuous smile. He's smiling all the time. Uh, can you tell us about your history and when you started, what, what martial art you started with? A bit about yourself. Um, I started when I was 14 in judo. I was sent to judo by my boss. Right. He'd been a prisoner of war of the Japanese, but right. he decided that judo was the thing for me. Right. At 19, I moved for, to karate. Right. I'm now approaching 76, 76, and my martial arts life has been from 14 to 76. Wow. I'm currently a seventh stand in Wadaru, right, right. and a second stand in Yaido, right. and I've still got a great deal to learn. Wow. Uh, but I love it. I love did, you, did you hear that, guys? A great deal to learn. Uh, fantastic. Um, what uh, advice would you give to people who, who want to join the martial arts board? They're a bit reluctant or skeptical about, about joining Well, we, we offer, and most good traditional martial arts clubs will offer you a taster. Right, and right. I think that's important. Right. Don't try to get people involved too quickly. Right. Allow them to come along, but allow them also to choose the martial arts which best, best suits their physical ability. Right. Rather than saying taekwondo's for you, karate's for you, yaido's for you. Let the people choose and let young people choose as well right. and look for a, a slow progression rather than a quick fix. Right. I mean, I, I taught a seminar in Burton uh, earlier on this year and uh, I was really amazed to see you. I mean, I was teaching Taekwondo, kicking, punching, and you were doing everything. And, you know, it, it was really inspirational for me. Um, what advice would you give to people, say, for example, who are in 40s or 50s, who think they haven't got the energy to train or exercise? Well, obviously muscle memory, if you've been physically fit for most of your life, plays an important part in it. But repetition, um, it's not boring to stretch. If you, uh, if you ever train with Bill Wallace, he'll tell you he stretches in front of the television, he stretches when he's reading a book. But most importantly is consistency. If you haven't got that consistency, then you won't be able to stay fit. And um, what, what, what uh, kind of message would you like to give to people who missed the UK Martial Arts Show this year? Well, I think you've missed a golden opportunity. Um, we're very fortunate to have people like Bob Sykes, yourself and Paul running such a fantastic show. Um, we look forward to next year and uh, perhaps a change of venue, perhaps a change of whatever, but I'm sure it'll be onwards and upwards. Yes, fantastic. Now th that's great. Thanks for your time, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Take Thank care. You Thank much. you.